Hi, I am Jisoo and I'm going to introduce you about the Sokjojeon Hall. Sokjojeon Hall is designed by an English architect named Harding and it is a western style royal palace with neoclassical architecture. Empire Gojong design, decided to build Sokjojeon to show the modernization and the greatness of the empire. But it could, couldn't use it very long since it took 10 years, which is a long time, and after finished building it, Japan had conquered Korea. So we used it for having meetings with its officials or with the foreign envoys. And at the outer side of the Sokjojeon Hall, there is a stone columns designed in Ionic style. And as you can see in this picture, there is a plum blossom at the pediment, and that's because the plum blossom represents Korea and then and it is a and it is a symbol of the Tan Empire. So I finished introducing you about the outer side of the Sokjojeon. And haven't you ever like noticed something different from like the other palaces? So Sokjojeon is made out of stone and as you can see in this picture, the other palaces in Tokugung is made out of woods. So Sokjojeon, like the name means the palace made out of stones since it's like the only building made out of stones in Tokugul. Now I'm going to introduce you about the inner side of the Sokjojeon. So in the Sokjojeon has three floors, the underground and the first floor and the second floor. And at the underground, there's a staff's residence and a kitchen area and a warehouse. And at the first floor, there's a reception room and a, and a dining room. And at the second floor, there's a bedroom and a bathroom and a living room. I think Empire Gozong like only used the first floor because the first floor has like the places for the official meetings and such as that. And the second floor, the last Crown Prince Yongchen used it when he visited Korea from Japan. You might ask why the last Crown Prince Yongchen lived in Japan. And I think like since Japan had conquered Korea, last Crown Prince Yongchen might have to go to Japan and study in there. So after Gojong passed away, Sokjojeon Hall was used for the various purposes such as the like museums, exhibition, exhibition hall, and the international conference hall. And in front of the Sokjojeon, there is a garden, like originally made in Baroque style with exotic trees. But the exotic trees couldn't live in Korea since the Korea's weather isn't right for them. It's not too hot. So the exotic trees died and there's only garden left. And also there is a sundial at Angbu Ilgu. The sundial represents the 24 subdivi seasonal subdivision and the time. As you can see in this picture, the horizontal line me means the 24 seasonal subdivision and the vertical line means the time. The like little squares at this picture is it represents 15 minutes, so you can see time with the sunshade. The time like you see in the sundial and the current time that we use today is different because of the seasonal changes between the time of the Joseon Dynasty and the current time today, since we use the Universal Standard Time by GMT. And right now, Sokjojeon is used for the historical museum of the An Empire. In the museum, it explains about the Dan Empire politics and diplomacy and etc. So I really hope you might like visit it, visit Sokjojeon on your own. And that was, it's done with my explanation. Thank you for listening. And do you have any questions?